That's how you're removing all this water. I think I have come in. Miss Ferdinand? Here, this is the printout you asked for. Okay. But I would like the soft copy to be sent to my mail. Okay, that will be done. Anything else now? Nothing for now. I can go. All right, ma'am. I want the details of our stock. I, I, I'm sorry, ma. I, I'm not in charge of that. Mr. David is in charge of uh, stock keeping. Okay, so you send my request to him. Sure, sure. I'll do just that. I want a brief of how the company operates so I can compare it to the one I have and the one I know already. That's nice. Oh, well, we have a very nice customer service that gives us the direct relationship with our customers and investors and so on. So you have no cost for a lot. Okay, but I still insist you give me what I asked for. Thank you, Ma. I will prepare it. I will. I'll do just that. Come here. Come, come. What was she asking you to do? Well, she's requesting for the company's income statement as of the last two months. But I think what she's interested in is our closing stock. Oh, okay. Hmm? Um, I will give you exactly the statement you give to her. Eh? So, you follow me to my office. I'll give you the statement you praise the amount and give to her yeah that's it sir? Yes. what is that no what is that follow me to my office i will give you the statement you print for her and give her that's what i'm saying you're, you're telling me sir what is that sir what well it's already too late eh? yes because i already printed it and gave it to her already hey what what what, what? you said what you did what Without informing me, my own department. Ah! Well, I'm sorry, sir. I just didn't think it was important for me to come to you whenever the MD gives instructions. Hey! Now, listen to me. Henceforth, you do nothing for her as far as this company is concerned without informing me. Is that clear to you? If you go contrary to this instruction, you are out of this company. Out of this company. Ha! I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. Look at you. I thought you were intelligent. Hi! I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. Yeah, I'm preparing a report to present to her. <coughs> there is a more serious problem. What? But there is fire on the mountain. Again? That little thing, that, 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 that rat instructed the company secretary to prepare an income statement and submit to her. Now, 
She already did this before I got rid of it. Yeah, but we have already tampered with that very one. We have rearranged that one. You don't understand. The one we did was uh, the, the new one we prepared, which should have been submitted to the MD uh, mm -hmm. before he faced it. Mm -hmm. So, well, so we submit the old one and then keep the new one for next month. It's simple. Don't you get it? Huh? The master planner. Any day. <laughs> Any day. Okay, uh, right now she's having a meeting with the sister farm. Okay. Mm, I think I will wait. Let's see what she has in store for us. Just okay. make sure we work according to our plan. If we follow our plan, we'll never fail. I will assure you that. Let me finish preparing myself. Oh, for today? Oh, in this office? In this office? I got you. I'll get, I'll He's trying to face two men. <laughs> She's not even afraid. She's not afraid. No, she will get shorter. By the time we finish with her, you want to she will to, go half. You want to reduce her to a dot. <laughs> Full stop. <laughs> okay. How do you mean? What are you talking about? How come there are so much debtors here? Hmm? Well, you see, in every business, uh, company, industry, just any any institution that has to do with money coming in and going out, that's income and expenditure. Hmm? Uh, uh, there's always debtors and creditors, you know. There's it's trust a balance, you understand? Just to balance the equation everywhere. That's how it is. So <laughs> this one is uh, it's not uh, uh, you know uh, it's not out, out of place, you understand? Uh, that's, uh... What I mean is this: with the rate of debt, this company might go bankrupt one day. I mean, look, look at the unrealistic debt. Why is the figure so high? Is it that some of them are dead or what? Huh? Listen, I want to get the name of every company or individual owing us and how much they are owing that was up to this within 24 hours. 24 hours? Yes, 24 hours. How is that possible? 24 hours. Are you here to question me? Or you are here to work? Hmm? Okay, it's alright. So I will get them for you. Hmm? I will get them for you. Don't worry, I will get them for you. Remember, within 24 hours. There is any problem. Well, you are the real problem we have in this company. Listen, what nonsense 
have you been feeding Miss Fenner with? I, I don't understand. What do you mean? How will you understand? You can never understand. Listen, I do not expect you to own up. But let me warn you. Do not cross your lines. Do not cross your lines. Mind your business. As far as this company is concerned, mind your business. Uh, let, let, let me get it straight. Is that a threat or what? Ah, threat. I don't make threats. I don't make threats. My promise is, if you don't mind your business, ha, you'll find it real hot. Real hot. Nonsense. What's wrong with this one? I have no idea. It's okay, um, I'm sending you a document. But I think I want you to print it fast. Mm -hmm. I need it in hard copy. Um. No, drama, drama. Good afternoon, Miss Pregnant. You sent for me. Yes, please. Do sit. Thank you. I would like you to take over our stock records. I asked Mr. Dave to make a list of all the debtors. I want to form a team so the team can investigate and ascertain why our debtors have not paid. That's a nice idea. And I will take over from Mr. David immediately. Please do. I also wanted to extend this to our sales manager. From today, all our customers must at least pay it's five percent before any goods will be raised. It's all right. I will extend that to Mr. Maxwell. Okay. I think that is all for now. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No noise. Sorry, ma'am. I don't think you got it right this time around. How do you mean? Because that girl, she's so intelligent, you don't even understand what's going on. Okay, imagine the kind of changes she made within 24 hours. Eh? I believe somebody is pushing her seriously. Somebody is behind her. There's no somebody there. It's the mother. We all should know it's the mother that's pushing her, trying to teach her techniques on how to run a company and all that and all that. But we will, we, will, we will deal with that girl. We will confuse her. That's the only thing. Just find a way to confuse her. See, I don't think the mother is the issue here. I suspect Mrs. Safan. Mrs. Safan? That woman. <laughs> you may be right because it was that Mrs. Safan that gave me the information this morning. What information? The one I told you about now. That uh, 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 Miss Ferdinand said we should uh, uh, collect 85% uh, upfront. If anybody is coming to carry any good, we should take we can collect 85%. Uh, see? see? That Mrs. Safan is a devil. It means she is a devil. In fact, anyway, I will deal with both of them. This company, let me tell you something. This company belongs to both of us. You and I, we own this company. That's what we say, but we have to use our head if it has to resolve that. What of those people that we are, we are, we are owing, the debtors? Well, uh, you and I know that we have a few more debtors, and um, 
you just have to devise a means to pay them. You understand? And to clear those debts so that uh, um, you can pretend that the debtors came in and paid. Do you know what you're talking about? We're talking about 20 million here. No. Do we have a choice? I'm a naked really now that I hope for better. We just have to pay this time. We just have to pay. Because we, 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 we ate the money. You know what I mean? We're going to see this in the world's half years. That's in the evening. You know, they go. Do you think it's necessary for you to go? Victoria, I need to go. I need to go and assume my position so that they will know that I am very serious with him. Baby girl, you need to be very careful. His wife hates you. The daughter hates you more. The only person that appreciates your presence is sick. So you just have to be very careful, please. Yeah, I know. And I understand where you're coming from. You're just looking out for your friend. It's fine. But I need to go there regardless. Vicky, that man is not just my friend. He's my fiance. And his state of health is my concern. All right, we just have to be safe, okay? Definitely. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Careful. How may I help you? My name is Mirabel and I'm Mr. Ferdinand's fiance. Oh, I see. So why are you here? I heard of the unfortunate incident that happened. So I went to the hospital and was told that a restricting order was placed, that nobody should see him. Why would you do that? The audacity. <laughs> let, me, let me try to understand this. You came here to look for my husband and you have the guts to open up with your full chest in my presence? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Your husband. Come on, I thought you guys have parted ways. So why are you still referring to my Ferdinand as your husband? You know, I give it to you. Yeah, I, I like your boldness. But unfortunately, only family is allowed to go check on him for now. Unfortunately, you are not family. Really? Madam, what you're doing is not right. I only want to see him, to know how he's faring. And you're restricting me? Listen, you bitch. Whatever you think you are, fiance or whatever you call it, there is a title that's more than that, and that is wife. That's what I am to Mr. Ferdinand. <laughs> yes, and unfortunately for you, you cannot see him because my daughter and I are doing a fantastic job of taking care of him. You go bloody well look for your own husband and take care of him. I have my husband and he's in safe hands with me. Now you get out. I have my husband and he's in safe hands. Get out, Wait, bitch! If I don't get out, what would you do? Oh, get out. What are you going to you do? You don't want to test me. What you're doing is not right. I'm a classy woman. But really? You don't want to test me. How classy are you, bitch? Get out. How classy are you? Just get out. Don't touch me. Go. Don't freaking... Please leave. your hand on me. Leave. What you're doing is not fair. It's not right. And I bet you you're going to regret this. Trust me. You are going to regret this. Okay, trenches, bitch. Now go. Go. Bloody trenches, bitch. Look at this freaking gold dagger. Lord, I blame men for all this. I can say you are so primitive. Your education 
and your exposure are all stills. Listen, I'm not here for all this. It took me a whole lot to get here. Please move outside. I want to go to my parents. See who? Fiance. Fiance that no, none of his family knows about you. You want to see your fiance? Tell me, when did my father engage you? Answer me. Listen to me, Amanda. I have tolerated you enough. But what I would not take from you and your mother is to deny me access to go right in and see my fiance. I'm telling you. Chimamanda is telling you that I will not give you the access to see my father because your evil plans will not work. You know something? I wonder why a grown adult like you don't use your common sense. Yeah? Now, leave this hospital, else I will call the security on you. Now! Very wrong then. I'll leave. Leave. But trust me, I'll be back. Of course. You'll be back in the mortuary. Yes. Get out. Get out. Treat body hawker. Honestly, this is total bullshit. She's right. You do not belong to that family. You can't even sue her for anything because Chief is not legally married to you yet. I tried to reach Chief. It's all to no avail. Until this morning when I called the driver. And then he told me about the unfortunate incident that happened to Ferdinand. I don't even know what that woman and her little witch has done to my Ferdinand. It's okay. I have never met a more generous man as Ferdinand. What do I do? Baby girl, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Just get used to the fact that you are not welcome there. You are not needed there. The only thing that you can do now is just to pray for him. That's all. It's just your prayers now. You you have to just pray for him. You know, welcome there. My friend, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't like it when you're like this. It's okay, it's okay. Everything will be all right, okay? <laughs> the last time I checked, I'm the boss here. No delivery must be made without going through the required process. <laughs> 